hey guys so this is a new vlog i'm planning to vlog today to end of next weekend so today is thursday so i want to vlog the remaining part of the week plus you know next week of the weekend i'm honestly so excited so first things first i mean tell me you're having a bad hair day that and you're having a bad hair day you know headband wigs are saving lives saving me like if someone calls me and i need to step out and at least i want to look a bit decent like i have a life I just threw this on so that has been saving my life i just got this jumpsuit literally just some minutes ago and i ordered it from shop zetu initially i wanted it in pink there was like a pink and then this orange highlight i was like oh my goodness it looks so good and you know i want to do like blondish braids and i was like mm, it's going to be a look but then I went online and then I saw this was on sale and it costs 2,000 shillings less than the other one. And you know what? I was like, you know what? Let me just buy the one that's on sale because it was an impulse purchase. And I'm like, you know what? Let me at least basically spend less because it's an impulse buy. But honestly, I love it. I'm obsessed, Kabisa. And I'm just like, I feel like I look so good in it. I just, I don't know. Like, it's just snatching me, whatever. I was asking my sister, like, this is how I look for real, like, in real life. You know, I was looking at myself in the mirror, I'm like, is that me? Is that my body? Like, I'm just asking her, like, can you tell me on a scale of 1 to 10 how accurate is this mirror versus how I look for real? And she was like, girl, you look good. <laughs> okay, she didn't say that, but let's say she said that. Anyway, I'm excited to vlog. Mm, I'll be meeting a friend on Sunday. Not too sure if I'll vlog that but we'll see how that goes my plan though is to probably just vlog a bit tomorrow um i work from home so i want to probably do what that realistically looks like i mean it's not i'm not that person who wakes up at six and you know i don't know does like meditation and then just yoga then probably showers get their breakfast and prepares to work i mostly just wake up shower eat something write my to-do list for the day and we are starting so i start work at 8 30 meaning that if i wake up at around 7 i'm really good to start work on time so let's see if tomorrow um, you know works out and i actually even remember to film because there's a day i was planning to but then i even woke up late so i didn't even remember i was supposed to be filming but let's try again tomorrow and yeah honestly i think this vlog is going to be nice yeah yeah so yeah catch you tomorrow so it's 8 22 friday 26 focus mood is on so can you tell i slept late anyway so the reason i have my focus mode on is so that i don't get distractions at least for whatever period i mean till i turn it off as i'm working and especially because i'm not expecting any phone calls from people at the moment so yeah it's only i guess for me right that i do it and if someone is trying to look for me this early in the morning like i think that's a problem so the first thing i will do is write down my to-do list for the day then after that i will just be checking out um news for the region then thereafter i'll be doing a couple of reach outs if i have time i will continue building up on some other stories yeah pretty much that's the thing that's the plan for the day honestly sometimes when i look at this like regional news and stuff sometimes i'm just like oh my goodness this is happening it's it's a bit you know sometimes information that's out there is a bit scary mm. yeah also feeling like i should go back to reading a lot more um honestly like one of the ways that you're able to think creatively aside from like talking to people or even traveling is just reading a lot so i feel like i want to do that so that even like stories i'm building can be you know like from a more creative angle which is something i'm really trying to achieve so that's the plan for the day and yeah i guess we'll get into it right now Bottle of night, red wine, a rerun, all our memories right. 
It's just a matter of time Before your cheeks turn into peaches and the stars realign Another glass of wine, I'll find the diamonds in your eyes, darling Another glass of wine, you know it's time Three, two, one We're counting shooting stars on the side of my bed And now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck Another glass won't kill you, right? We're kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed And now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies You got me running circles the side of my head Now we're doing everything that I wish you had said Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies like that To end the week, I've decided to take advantage of the Java at 23 offers. So they had a buy one get one free for the mocha cake. I've never tried it before, so I hope it's nice. All right, so this is my first time impression of the cake. Never had it before. Let's see. Okay. I'd say it's a pretty decent cake, honestly. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, bye. Guys, when I tell you don't be fooled, it's not summer. I'm here dressing like it's summer, but it's really not. The weather is a bit dull. I think I'll just carry a shawl to cover myself and an umbrella just in case of anything. But this is how I'll just step outside. I'm supposed to meet my friend at 2, but I'm running late because there's an errand I need to run. It's about 1.30. So I might make it there maybe 2.15. That's my target. In case I get there before her, I'll just start jundling. So I'm carrying my notebook so that, yeah, I can just get my feelings check on course and then just plan a bit for the week yeah so that's it i'm just feeling happy that i'm leaving the house i'm usually a homebody but whenever i get step outside i'm usually so happy so yeah okay the weather isn't too bad a bit of blue trying to peep in hey guys so i'm back home honestly we arrived pretty much on time so i wasn't able to journal uh, so that's now the plan for the evening just before the week starts very much looking forward to it to be honest Another thing uh, this week. I'm looking forward to meeting a friend of mine. Haven't seen her in I guess years It's been so long and you know, we were close friends especially um, my final year of high school to like maybe first and second year of uni, but you know life happens season sometimes you guys are brought back together so i guess this is us rekindling the relationship and all that so i'm looking forward to that and then saturday also have dinner plans with my friend so yeah i'm just happy this is going to be such an amazing week i might also finally just get around to doing my hair like it's about time i am tired of wearing this headband wig i'm tired of dealing with my hair underneath it i'm just at that point i'm willing to commit to temporary locks Ah, am I serious? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just do them and just after four weeks I'm just like why did I spend all this money for a hair cell that's supposed to last me months, but then I've just kept it for one So anyway, I don't know if I'll commit to it, but definitely Trying as much as possible to change up my hairstyle and I think I might attempt to do that on Maybe Thursday or Friday, but most likely Thursday. Yeah, so that yeah, actually Thursday because Friday at least I have the commitment in the afternoon. If it was in the evening, I'd have maybe tried to do it in the afternoon. So I'll do it on Thursday. Yeah. And 
yeah pretty much um having things to look forward to i think sometimes just helps you get through the week especially if you are i don't know let's say in a work situation it's a very intense environment you don't really get a lot of time to breathe and just take things in i feel like if you are able to just add things that you're looking forward to doing um during the week it can go a long way and it can doesn't necessarily have to be or oh, meeting someone or oh, going out it could just be making this cup of tea or coffee that you love you know on a particular day or just getting yourself a treat or just i don't know switching off your phone today so that you're not accessible to people for just one night or just logging off social media like it can be anything for you doing skincare like just doing that extra sheet mask whatever it is for you so yeah i'm excited for this week any pumped like i'm so i'm so happy i hope it will be amazing not i know it will be an amazing week i am speaking and believing that so yeah let me get to journaling and i guess the next time you'll see me is i don't know someday during the week maybe not tomorrow or maybe after tomorrow ends because mondays i think mondays universally are just days that i don't know they're just not the best but yeah so today for lunch got myself some butter naan from cans and the chicken biryani just look at the beauty i have been craving biryani like crazy so i was just like i had to all right so i'm about to head out and you know initially i was like oh let me wear my head band wig whatever whatever but then i'm just like you know what i'll actually just head out of the house like this like i'm an adult i can walk however i want and i am that person who if i'm going to the salon i literally walk either with my bonnet along the streets like literally even in the mat or i'll even just be in my tutors i'm just like an afro is even me making effort you know so yeah anyway i'm heading for that meeting uh today is wednesday i did like a check-in ish on monday when i was having biryani so it's wednesday i think i'll end the vlog on friday for today i'm like hmm, there's not much to share from the meeting but i might just show you guys the journey <laughs> oh so dramatic yeah so that's the plan for the evening afternoon whatever and yeah i guess i will see you when i see you you know the reason i'm really enjoying doing this is because it reminds me of those days for where photos are just your side profile you know so it just brings back those memories anyway the next time you see me i'll have a different hairstyle basically wearing this dress with like some boots ish because i'll be walking in town and then also the weather is just not like sandal open shoe friendly so yeah got socks stacked inside there the same all right so i settled on doing some lemonade braids and honestly i love the color so much i think you can see some elements of um like white somewhere in there you know so basically um the braids the braid mix is like like a white color blonde and um brownish so i'm thinking it was like maybe 30 27 and a whitish or maybe there was 33 i don't know but i just like the color mix so much i wasn't paying attention to what they were mixing i just showed them an image of a color wave i liked and this is what we came up with i honestly love it i feel like i'm giving justice to that tiktok that says you know when black girls are going on vacation or holiday they like doing braids or whatever so i'm just like i'm exactly that person then also i did the goddess version so yeah i like the length just wanted to add something to it i like it yeah i don't know i just feel like i'll get i need to get you no know, to do a bit to have a bit of getting used to i don't know something like that but i'm not mad this is the second time i'm doing lemonade braids the last time i did them i was still in uni and i did more of like maybe maroon ish so this is nice tomorrow i'll just be vlogging the dinner with my friend but so far that's it like that's literally how my week is in reality sometimes i just stay home order in sometimes i go out maybe like yeah it's just it's just life it's mundane sometimes 
normal we have highlights here and there sometimes most of the time life is just mundane stuff you know to head out for dinner with my friend we're going to about time and yeah i hope the experience will be good this dress i haven't worn it for a long time like maybe a couple of years and i was just like you know what let me wear it also because of my hair like everything now is just dictated by my hair like what is going to look best with this that's what i'm wearing that's my alarm to know when to call my cab so yeah i guess we are on track the plan is to get there at least before my friend so i hope that will be possible because she also keeps time like one of my few friends who actually keeps time so yeah come along so i got her these flowers i like that they come with this way i think i'll be giving this business i don't know my money more or something but i just love this detail of the veil they are cold rain ke on instagram so you can check them out but honestly i love them they are bouquets are really so beautiful yep all right this is unrelated but i got this book at textbook center and i was like i had to get it like had me at vintage classics library and of course sherlock so i hope it's going to be nice i like the size yeah the font is a bit small but i just i love it like i could have a whole collection of this there are other books but this is the one i chose because again it was an impulse buy but it was affordable like 350 so yep <laughs> She's five minutes away and it's just seven. So I told you guys, people keep time. It's actually a reality that <laughs> can exist, you know, as they're not even is a Kenyan timer. <laughs> hey, I bring the bottle tonight. Red wine to rerun all our memories, right? It's just a matter of time before your cheeks turn into peaches and the stars realign. Another glass of wine to find the diamonds in your eyes, darling. Another glass of wine, you know it's time. Three, two, one. We're kind of.